Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Site Gorilla, and today we're going to go over how to add a video to your WordPress page or post. So I am going to add it below this spacer I added, and I'm going to show you first what it looks like when you use the YouTube video or video block. Basically, if you paste a YouTube URL into a video block, it's just going to convert to a YouTube video block, but I will show you what it looks like. I'm going to embed embed the video here, paste the URL, make sure it's in. There's the video. I'm going to update and show you what it looks like. So on this theme that I'm using, it does not import well at all. Uh, they are still working on it. I'm not sure why it's importing like this. So if we go to appearance themes and I switch it to a default theme, let me show you 2015 and we'll activate that. Come back and refresh. This has a sidebar on it. It gets a little better. So it's really, it's theme dependent, but this is not really what I would want to display a video. There's, I want to be able to control the sizes and aspect ratio. And this really isn't that good at it. So I would not use blocks and I would do use it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna go reactivate my theme here. So the good old fashioned way to embed a video is to go to the video, you hit share, and then the embed button. And now you have a way to control your video. So I'm going to copy that. I come back to my page that is on my about page. Back here. And I'm going to insert this video above this one so you can see the difference. So right below my spacer, I am going to add it's called a custom HTML block under formatting. And I'm just going to paste the custom HTML right in there and hit update. And I'm going to refresh. There is a standard YouTube video standard size the way I expect it. So that or what you saw before versus this, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, on embedding videos still, unfortunately. I hope this helped. Uh, if you have not subscribed already, please do. If this video helped you, smash that like button for me. And as always, don't let your website drive you bananas.